Thank you very much. My research is about how to draw borderlines between Indonesia and its neighbors in the ocean. Let me tell you the, the, the principles. According to the United Nations Convention on the Law of the Sea, every country can claim maritime area around its land territory. So that picture illustrates several maritime zones that the country can claim. Some of you might still remember from high school that a country can claim up to 200 or even 250 nautical miles from baseline. For example, if there is a small country like a tiny dot in the ocean, if there is no other countries around, this small country can claim a very large maritime area as large as one million times of its land size. Amazing, isn't it? The question is, in the real world, is it possible for a country to claim the entire maritime area up to 350 nautical miles without having overlapping claims with other countries? Of course not. Those countries in the world are close to each other, right? So there will be overlapping claims if every country is to make their maximum claim. See the pink area over there. So to resolve the issue of overlapping claims, maritime boundaries need to be settled. See the red line dividing the pink area. So this process is called maritime boundary delimitation. And it needs a multidisciplinary approach. And my research will focus on the legal and technical aspects for the use of political solution. Indonesia need to draw maritime boundaries with 10 neighbors. And my research will examine different options and scenarios of maritime boundaries between Indonesia and three neighbors, Malaysia, Singapore, and the Philippines. So I have three case studies here. As you can see on the map, Indonesia has drawn maritime boundaries with some neighbors. See the red lines here. But as you can see, some are missing or pending. And it has been evident pending maritime boundaries can spark dispute between Indonesia and its neighbors. Some of you might be aware that recently there is a tension between Indonesia and Malaysia concerning fishing activities because of a border uncertainty around the Singapore Strait. And last night, our president delivered a special speech asking for peaceful resolution. And he specifically mentioned that maritime boundary agreements between Indonesia and Malaysia is very essential. So I think this is uh, well connected to my research because I will draw uh, options of boundary lines by considering uh, relevant legal principles and technically with a very high accuracy. As you can guess that, of course, I will not draw the line uh, in the ocean, right? So I'll draw the lines on maps using a, a technical a method to produce accurate coordinates. And these coordinates can be identified using GPS technology. True that it is up to countries to settle uh, their maritime boundaries, but I hope option that I can propose will be considered by relevant parties in the real maritime boundary negotiation between Indonesia and its neighbors. Thank you. Thank you, Andy.